We all have this idea of who we want to be in our heads, the better version of ourselves. And this can be difficult, especially when we are constantly comparing ourselves with others we feel are better than us. But being that guy is knowing you're in competition with yourself and nobody else. So here are key things to note when becoming that guy. That guy is someone who exudes confidence and carries himself uniquely and it involves a combination of several factors. Internal factors include self-care, positive self-talk, getting enough sleep, exercising regularly, and practicing mindfulness or meditation. External factors will be maintaining good posture, making eye contact, and speaking clearly and assertively, which can all signal to others that you are confident and in control. Remember, confidence comes from within, and when you feel good about yourself, it definitely shows in your behavior and appearance. That guy is self-aware and intentional about his life. This requires willingness to confront your fears and limitations. And as a man, it's essential to approach this process with empathy for yourself. One way to become more self-aware is to reflect on your values and priorities. Ask yourself what matters most to you and why. Take some time to identify your strengths and weaknesses as well as areas where you would like to grow. In summary, self-awareness and intentionality are not about perfection. It requires reflection and goal setting. By approaching this process with empathy, you can develop a deeper understanding of yourself and lead a more fulfilling life. That guy prioritizes their body and mind because they are aware of how crucial it is for a happy and fulfilling life. Incorporate physical activity, self-care, healthy eating habits, and adequate rest into your routine. By investing in yourself, you will not only feel better, but look better, and you would be more equipped to handle life's challenges. So don't wait any longer. Start prioritizing yourself. That guy is someone who is open-minded and adaptable. When you are willing to learn, unlearn, and relearn, you're more likely to be receptive to new ideas and ways of doing things. Developing a growth mindset involves certain actions, letting go of any fixed belief that you might have about yourself and embracing the idea that you can always improve. Remember, having a growth mindset is not just about achieving success, it's also about enjoying the process and learning and growing. So start embracing challenges, taking risks and seeking out new opportunities for growth. And most importantly, never stop learning, unlearning, and relearning.